I will kill him. I will destroy him for doing this to me. He is a monster and he deserves to die. He deserves to die. Kira, everything is fine. No, don't tell me that. Everything is not fine. Everything is not fine, Onye. Everything is not fine. I promise you, everything will be fine. I will make sure everything is fine. Do you understand? Come here. I of busy at the moment and would appreciate it sorry to disturb you but it seems you're in a hurry to if you don't mind i would like to go back to what i was doing hey 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 i thought you're here for i wouldn't know your interest in what i came here to do you know what i'm talking about come i didn't no longer come here Thank you very much for the money you gave me yesterday. Ah, it's all right. And, excuse me, I'm sorry. Are you checking out the other girls? Who? The, the girls you were... Are they leaving? Just now, they're moving to another hotel now. Don't you know? Why? Auntie, uh, it's like the guests they're expecting who will no longer lodge here. They see they found a better hotel out there in town, so they had to move out. Find out where they're going. Come and tell me. And you will earn more than I gave you the last time. Okay? okay no problem. I'll do just that. Thank you. Thank you. I think disappointment has a way of turning people into philosophers. I know what disappointment can do. I've stared it in the face. It has a way of changing your mindset, you know, making you believe things that are not real. I know what I'm talking about. What makes you think it's disappointment that 
informed my opinion about how men have been untrustworthy in their relationships. Kira, do you know the devil's greatest weapon? I will tell you. The devil's greatest weapon is making people believe that he doesn't exist. And next, you will call women the devil. Of course I wouldn't do that. Saying that means I'm calling my two lovely sisters the devil. Or my late mother. May I so rest in peace the devil. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that women have a way of making men believe that... Obi, women have always been victims of your... It's not true. That's not true. See, eh, whether you like it or not, the truth remains that almost always, when a man goes after a woman, is the woman that gave the green light. Oh. It might be blatantly obvious or in a subtle way, but always, or let me not say always, almost always, the woman is the one giving her the green light, thereby initiating the move. <laughs> what are you talking about? What I'm saying in a nutshell is this. Men, we are the prey. Oh, please. What? What are you saying? You men are just the same. Exactly the point. You all say men are the same, yet you conveniently classify us into the rich and the poor, the, 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 the generous and the stingy, the ones that wear designer clothes and the ones that wear racks, the ones that have big stuff here and the ones that have tiny instruments. Oh, oh come Obi. on, stop it. See, Kira, when you look at a man, what do you see? Seriously, are we really having this conversation? Yes, we are. Obi, I am officially tired of this argument. Really? <laughs> Kira, see, I'm your brother. If your boyfriend broke your heart, talk to me, I'm your brother. Let me help you. Not come here and tell me men, 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 men. Men are not the problem.
testimonial match. Yeah. When? Tomorrow. Life in Asaba. You know, one might never get to see these guys play ever again. So we need to be there live and direct. Come on. Yeah. It would be nice to watch them play. You know? Yeah. I hope you will go into Asaba with us. When? What's going on there? The NFF is organizing a testimonial match for Efe. His friends and former teammates are lining up against the Nigeria All Stars. It's going to be awesome. I know you won't miss it. Hey, GK. Yeah? Tell me. What's so special about going to the stadium to watch the Eagles play? What's so exciting about it? Huh? Kiria, now wow, now you talk like this. I thought you love football. Oh, please. I have better things to do than going to watch a bunch of ill educated idiots from poor families because they run around with balls and they're called footballers. I should kill myself, right? Now they have fat bank accounts. Not my business. Hold up, hold up. Wait, Kira, what's going on? Are you angry at these guys because they run around with balls or something else? Hola! <laughs> <laughs> Get me. And what's funny? Why are you laughing? It's funny. Why are you angry that guys run around with their balls when they've been doing that with two balls as long as human history can tell? Exactly. So why should we stop our national team players from running around with balls? <laughs> <laughs> you see, those footballers, girls love to play with their balls more than anything in the world. Yeah, what a sure. stupid joke. That was lame. Please, excuse me. Bro. I smell fish. Did you mean to say something is fishy? Any which way are we? But wait, what's up with her? Hmm. Like you put it, I now smell the fish. Tiniest of rooms. The rooms are all booked up. So sorry. No, my dear, listen. Don't be disappointed if you get to know us. Please try and do something. I'm so sorry. Sweetheart, fine girl. Please, we can actually have an arrangement. Mm -hmm. Just go through your bookies and check if there's something you can do for us. I'm, I'm, so I'm so sorry. There's nothing I can do. I have a lot of things to put in place. 
I want to do this for all time's sake. It's like you don't want it. Come on, Chris. I don't have 150,000 naira to pay for it. Chris, please, you need to consider me for all time's sake. This is true. Hello, Mr. Manager. <laughs> nice to meet you again. <laughs> It's obvious you don't remember me. Oh, it's been a long time anyways. <laughs> so how are you doing? Great. How are you? Oh, as beautiful and gorgeous as ever. <laughs> I hope I'm not disturbing anything. Not at all. I want you to think of it and give me feedback, okay? Chris. So what can I do for you? A least actually. But let's start. Do you mind if I talk to him alone? Some kind of influence. Let's go talk to him. No, no, just hold on. Let's just not now. Hang on. Why? Hello? Mr. Chris. Hey, Mr. Chris. Oh, Hi. How are you? Let's save the chip chat over a drink. I need a one. Same thing she needs, but we don't. Have. I don't care about what she needs. I'm talking about myself. Uh -huh. I need a room. Oh, please. Mr. Tristan, we. Sir, I'm waiting for you. You address me as professor, not sir. I'm sorry, prof. I said professor. Sir, you said I should wait. Oh, I'm sorry, professor. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. Thank you, sir. I'm 
And what are you still waiting for? A tip? No, sir. No, Prof. Sorry, Professor. Sorry, Professor. I mean, a huge favor. And I will appreciate it if you just keep it coming. I mean, your voice is just bring it down. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> Hello, girls. My name is Ajiro. EJ for short. In case anyone is wondering. I will be sleeping in bed, on the bed. Now that it's clear that we're all here for the same reason, unlike someone who tried to make me understand that she was here for a conference. We promised the manager to keep it low in here. And I'm very certain I don't need further explanation on that. I said someone here has problems understanding English. Back to what I was saying before that unpleasant interruption. There is no gain saying the fact that we're all here for the boys. Having said that, I would love to... Yeah. I'm sure you all have chosen the boys you want. I don't have a problem with that. I respect that. My only problem is that I haven't made up my mind. So, when I finally do so, I would want everyone to respect that too. Hello? I'm talking to you girls. Did I not make any sense? <laughs> Yes, please. Um, can I have um? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Brother, uh, the young man that brought my food, can you get him... Uh, Godwin is his name. Yes, can you get him to come back to my room? Aha, when he comes, I will tell him what I want. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the next time, he will think twice about bringing me cold food. It must be those urchins that laughed at me. Must be them.
You know, Chris, what's that for now? Do I need to wait for Lisa to grow hairs on his body before you fill me with details? Okay. I was just shocked with what my sister said about footballers. I know you're shocked, but tell me something different. Everybody knows my sister is crazy about football and footballers. She won't even listen to anyone tell her otherwise. See, the funniest part is that she doesn't know that I know that she's been seeing them in the They're dating. Are you telling me your sister used to date an Eagles player? That's what I've been trying to say since morning. Jehovah. Bro, your sister Hammer. She Hammer! I beg you. Ah. But from her reaction, one can safely say she used to date MNK. The reason she's been touched lately. The very reason. By the reason, you. Ah, that one. She traveled though. <laughs> Sorry, you know, I like this program a lot. Oh, my boy. You wouldn't know the glorious days of Nigerian football. Would you? Professor, I need to go and serve some other guests. Please remember that if you leave food in an air-conditioned room for a while, it gets cold. How dare you interrupt a professor? Huh? Look, that's a misdemeanor I do not take kindly to. But anyway, back to what I was saying. You know, the bane of Nigerian football is that it is a microcosm of the larger Nigerian society. Do you understand that? Yes, Professor. Beautiful. Inefficient leadership. Incompetent administration, shameful corrupt practices, indiscipline, and then a lack of all encompassing and well articulated plans and strategies. Those are the reasons for this country's football failure. And of course, that you can relate to the larger society. Do you understand it? Yes, Professor. Good! Now, I do not know what they are doing here or why they are here. But then, after gross maximal philandering and minimal preparation, then they will go to the World Cup, hoping that by His grace and uh, by the power of that their song, uh, He's a miracle walking God. He's a miracle walking God. By the power of that song, they hope to win World Cup? No, sir. Failure will always stare them in the face. Professor, I have to go. I'm not done. Are you aware that World Cup champions cannot be produced from the abysmally poor standards of our local league? and facilities and trainings and all the works. Are you aware of that? What, what was that? What, what was that? That's an, that's an unbridled show of indiscipline. I, what is it about Nigerian football anyway? Listen, I love football. I have always loved football. And as a good coach, I don't just have a dream. I am passionate about building this team to be one of the best national teams in the world. Yes, I know. But coach, you need to understand that in this country... Listen, the kind of relationship I have maintained with the players is one that has helped me to improve on them, to, to, to shape them, balance the team so they could play the good football that Nigerians and every football lover all over the world will be proud of. But coach, I know that, but if... Come on.
Matthew, you look worried. What's the problem? Uh, yes. I took a disturbing call when I was coming here. Yeah, what was the call about? Uh, Coach, I have been thinking about it. Um, if what I was told is true, no, I should not say if what I was told is true, because it came from a reliable source. Matthew, can you just calm down and tell me what the problem is? Coach, it's about the World Cup team list. It seems... Uh... I got it. They want to impose their list on me, right? It's all right. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. So, Coach, what what are you going to do about it? So what's up? I've heard anything about the list. I'll be the wrong I'm <laughs> No, no, no. Ah, ah, so fast. I'm not there with any girl, man. Omaka came around. Yeah, we're just discussing. Sure, why not? Hey, come, 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 come. Join us. Come. Yeah, come, come. We'll wait for you. No problem. All right, go ahead. <sighs> man, guy, 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 guy. This is not be phone call matter. Yeah. See, my homeboy is on my neck. Huh? About making it to the World Cup. Tell me now, what have you done about this? <laughs> Omaka, who is the boss? I'm trying to be your own again now. Anybody follow you to share that one? Who is the fucking boss? Okay, fine, MNK. You are the boss. That's it. You see your homeboy. Tell him make it rest. I don't run now. I have taken care of all that. Huh? No time. Are you serious? Yes. Uh, I trust you now. You're my guy. My boy. <laughs> I don't think you should be worried about that one that calls herself Edgy. That girl is just a bag of wind. Nothing more, nothing less. What about Chinwen? Chinwen? I think she's too bland for my liking. I really don't understand her, but I think we should keep a close watch on her. She looks corny, though. And the other one in the bedroom. She worries me. I think she's... She worries me too. She looks a bit like she's not used to our kind of runs, but makes moves like one that knows exactly what to do. I'm still trying to figure out. I was just wondering what the gossip is all about. You think we are gossips?
I don't care what you think I think you girls are. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that I love gossip. <laughs> it excites me, oh my god. Well, my name is Chiwe, by the way. Oh, you already know my name. Uh, anyways, I was just wondering, before we go into that, does either of you know anything about the girl in there? I mean, you have some information about how you want to divorce to me. I'm not here. I'm listening. Oh my god! Is that a selfie? <laughs> Excuse me. Sir. I love selfie! Come, 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 come on. Are you alright? Ah, please. Uh, what I just told you. You have any idea about her? Tell me, I'm listening. Huh? Oh. Like I was saying, do you have any eyes on the shoes? Now, Bobby, 
What was the meaning of what you just did? Coach, I was playing football. You were playing football? Yes. Was that tackle necessary? That was a fair tackle now. Tell him to stop behaving like a sissy and get off the ground. I want you to walk over there and apologize to him. Yes! Yes! I'm sorry, coach. I'm not apologizing anything. What? Emenike. Coach. Leave my pitch. Coach, it hasn't yes. come to that now. Huh? Coach, with all due respect, I'm not leaving this pitch. Leave my pitch! Coach, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Coach, coach, coach! Leave my pitch! Coach, coach, coach! Get off the pitch! 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 Get Coach, calm down. I'm done with his stupid attitude. Get off the pitch. Coach, calm down. Coach, calm down. Where's going? Let's go. 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 One of my jobs as a coach is to make decisions. Decisions about selection. It's now a job everybody else knows so well how to do. That the Football Federation and the staff of the Sports Ministry want to do it for me. They want to do my selection for me. And then give me the list. So I can present to the world and say, yes, these are the boys. I have made this decision and these are the boys I'm taking to the World Cup. Coach. Coach. Please, take it easy. Please. Trying to make my selection for me, it's a good recipe for a bad performance. Yeah, I'm trying really hard to, to, to take it easy. But you know what? When the shit hits the fan and everybody wants a scapegoat, their cowardly ass will be home free while Nigerians and the media will roast me to hell for bringing to the World Cup a lackluster national team. Damn, coach, you are not going to allow that to happen. No. Lie, lie. Yes, I'm going to make sure of that. I have a contract. And I will not allow anybody to mess it up for me. I will not allow that to happen. Coach, you have to do something. You will not allow this to happen. You will not allow this to happen. Okay. No. Yeah. You will never allow this to happen. I say something, none of you deem it fit to say a word or even acknowledge it. I mean, I want to know because I've had it up to here. Hello? I just asked the question. Would somebody say something to me? You don't look like a parrot, so I'll give you credit for that. But why do I keep getting this vibe that the only difference between you and a parrot is the fact that you don't have feathers?
What is the meaning of that? Why don't you go in there, sit your ass down, and shut the F up? And if I don't? I can break your bones. I can snap your neck. And if I kill you, you wouldn't be my first victim. Babe, very soon these guys will be down to play. That's we good. had better start getting ready to play. Yeah, baby. <laughs> it's fine, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you're talking. But I want that selfie, you know. <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> this girl is really silly. She's always trying to be knock out. One on one with the keeper. What happened? I, I, I know, I know. I had soap. 